Very important. Felt yeah. Too. Can so yet to make a pair, basically, and he's got what he started <coughs> with. Yep. Poker is a very complicated game. It takes time to understand. So you need to put in the hours. And the best way to do that is on the internet, because you can put in a lot of hours whenever you have the time and you can play for a small amount of money to learn. So it doesn't cost you so much. I play a lot on the internet. I make money, of course, but also it's a great way to try new different strategies. You can be very aggressive, very tight, and you know, on different levels and see how it works. It's a great uh, educational tool. are starting to feel a little punch drunk and uh, mm -hmm. tell you what if this ace queen gets cracked oh he will be cracked for sure at least he he, uh, he comes in for a raise here I believe 8,000 more triple the bet right now that's you know now that's good well, he's coming in with now and bet, now then. look now look here I'll go only oh this See? is real trouble for Dave Finney now wow I think the heat has gotten to Finney and he may just have a stroke here when he sees uh, Frazier, who's certainly going to call here with ace queen, I would think. Well, the, the size of this overbet is yeah, about a yeah. hundred thousand, Kenna. Is is, it, is right. Finney just trying to shut him down? He is, well, exactly. He's trying to take the pot and put the pressure on him right now. He sees the blood that we were talking about earlier. I mean, you advocated re-raising to the Fraser right. raise, but uh, has Finney gotten? Does he come over the top too much, or is he just a bit unfortunate to find Fraser with the better ace? Well, no, he's he's not playing his hand. I think he's playing the heat, you know. And, you know, those lights and those cameras can get hot, and you just never know when, you know, you might snap. And I think, you know, a synapse has definitely uh, been severed here because uh, for him to make this move is way out of line. Well, Fraser An will all-in move. Yeah. I mean, Fraser but it, he may get away with it, you know, because... I think I've in this. Yeah. Yeah. Fraser. Oh, well, no, Finney's tight reputation. And, uh, right. I mean, so he doesn't he's like trying his to use, quick. Exactly. He's trying to use his re reputation along with the lack of confidence that Fraser must feel right now after losing with the aces and losing consecutive hands. It looks like he wants to fold. I guess, does it look a bit like ace-king? Well, not only that, he figures, well, he's got to have a pair or ace-king. How can my ace-queen be good here? He's shown down nothing but winning hands. And look at how, look at how calm and cool he is. <laughs> he looks like he's falling asleep. He does. I mean, that is a heart of a lion, ladies and gentlemen. Right there. Look at that. That is a poker face. He has got to know that he's making a play here, that he doesn't have the best hand. Oh, Fraser looks like a man of his experience knows that he is taking this pot away, and now he shows him and folds. Fraser has just, sometimes you get in a wrong oh, rhythm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, sometimes Fraser, you get in a wrong when rhythm. he watches this at home, he's going to have to go to the bathroom and flush the toilet, ladies and gentlemen, because he, I, I tell you, I don't want to say it, Jess. I really don't want to say it. It's sickening. It's a sickening feeling. A lot of my game is all by feel. You know, if I feel um, one of the other players might be a bit weak, then I'll be double aggressive, you know. Um, I don't mind following it through. Um, I've learned not to put my chips in so willy-nilly now, uh, as I used to, but I suppose I had a little bit of luck before. Um, I've got a very good game at the minute, and um, every time I go to play, I'm really looking forward to it. Can you see yourself sipping champagne and playing craps a la James Bond in some of the most glamorous casinos in the world? If that's a yes, you'll love our competition to win a trip to the gorgeous Monaco. Up for grabs, we're giving away flights, accommodation and £500 spending money for two people to enjoy hobnobbing with the rich and famous in the ultimate millionaire's playground. For your chance to live out your playboy fantasies, just answer the following question. A pair of kings can also be known as... A. Cowboys B. Indians or C. Sheriffs To enter, go to www.5.tv forward slash poker and answer the question.
Entrants must be over 18 and the competition closes at midnight on the 12th of September. It's not just the competition on our website, there's loads more poker hints and info for you. There's exclusive downloadable video tutorials from some of the biggest names in the game, filling you in on their tips and entertaining you with their poker stories. It's going to be John McGill again now, waking up with Pocket Kings, the second best possible starting hand. He does not look happy nice. at all. He looks, looks pained to make this raise. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And another tester for Ian Frazier with Ace-8. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, and this is, this is what happens. It just doesn't let up. The game can just... You know, one mistake compounds another mistake, compounds another one, and yep, you see, pretty soon you just unravel. I tell you what, <laughs> Fraser was playing one kind of music, and uh, the rest of the game's been playing another. He's been off beat all night That's long. That's right. And now. Does anyone no, no, no. here expect an ace to hit the board? <laughs> Absolutely not. You can almost see the writing on the wall. Once in a while, you'll see the game, you know, snap you back in tune and, and, and just give you some mercy. But usually, you know, it goes with the trend. And the trend is right now, uh, Mr. Frazier will be walking out the door. Two kings for John McGill. Ian Fraser all in. Needing Look, at, the we're, talking about, we're talking about... Uh, Timing and in tune, he sounded like a metronome there, <laughs> clicking his <laughs> tongue. Possible backdoor diamonds, the ace, the quickest way for yep. Fraser to catch up and pass McGill. Oh, he has a backdoor straight draw. Now an open end, open ended straight. A four, a nine, or an ace will give him mercy as we go to the river. He's only three to one against. Oh, <laughs> and it's oh, like no, the deck is like, look at, look at how quick he pops up there, and I don't blame him. I do not blame him, Jesse. I mean, that was just, that had to be a painful experience. There were no favors for Ian Fraser tonight. He's the second player out. Oh, kill me. Well, I didn't say it then because it's in He's won half a million in prize money on television over the last year, but it's not to be tonight for Ian Fraser. He's our second player out, and he joins Jesse and Kenny. Kenna and myself joined by Ian Fraser, who's just been knocked out. Ian, you're one of the most successful players in the history of televised poker. You're a man in form, and some days it's probably not worth getting out of bed. <laughs> I'm absolutely gutted. He's, on the way out, he's just told me he had ace, he had ace jack when I had the ace yeah. queen, so I'm really... Oh really man, they, they, were, they were taking shots at you. Yeah, it was like it was like oh, you were it was like you were in the in the ring with Muhammad Ali oh, and George Foreman. And if that wasn't enough, Mike Tyson coming in and take it. a shot at you with the ace. And I've been getting plenty of them. Yeah. Well, do you, do you, do you feel it's harder to follow your instincts when you know you've lost a couple of pots and, yeah, of and, and your confidence yeah, um, is down? Yeah, for sure. It puts you right on the back foot. You know. Yeah. It, it's really too bad. We felt for you because it, it, if you did pull the trigger there, that was the pot that was going to yeah, rescue you and yeah. put you right back in the match. Yeah, I, I was close. I was close. But. Mm -hmm. uh, commiserations, Ian. Thank no, you, you see it back in one of these tournaments very soon. We're down to four. And who's it going to be? No one to play with? There's always PartyPoker.com. Welcome back to the PartyPoker.com World Open. It's all getting serious as we're down to four, and remember, it's only the winner that will go through to one of the semi-final tables and have a shot at that $200,000 top prize. But right now belonging to Tony Nichols. <laughs> Let's see if experience wins out. Because certainly to this point, uh, you know, uh, John McGill has been getting the cards. <coughs> The cards and the chips. He's got the cards. He's got the chips. Pass. He's got the girl. <laughs> you know, I said experience, but, you know, McGill himself has been playing for 30 years. This is the first time Leonard has found an ace. In the, it's the third time straight he's limped in. And uh, the first time he's found a big hand. Do you think he's been trying to set up this play? Well, I just think he doesn't want to give a chip away. He's just going okay. to, you know, be very patient at this point and not make any mistakes, and I like that. He's going to wait. You know, one of the keys to winning at poker is exploiting your opponent's mistakes okay. while making few or none yourself. Yeah. 